dog collar versus dog harness. Which one is better? This is a big question. I'm gonna answer that right now, so keep watching. Now I see a 50-50 split when it comes to dog owners wanting to choose a dog collar versus a dog harness. Now today we're talking about the benefits and the cons of each. Now let's just get started with the dog collar, okay? So here is the top bully's collar. It's just a plain old flat collar with a nice metal buckle. And the reason why I like dog collars is because first of all, you could do like a perfect fitting on their neck. Now there's a lot of types of dog collars such as a regular flat collar, they have a choke collar, they even have a prong collar such as this. Now one thing you gotta note is all of these collars could be harmful to the dog, okay? And the reason being is because you're having a dog that has a collar around his neck. If you yank on the leash too aggressively or you try to give him a correction and you do it incorrectly, you could cause some damage in the neck area but that reflects on the handling of the dog. So you gotta make sure that they have the right size collar and you gotta make sure you're handling your dog correctly. The reason why I like a dog collar is you could pass on a lot more communication with a dog collar and a leash. Now, I don't know if you've seen any training videos lately, but a lot of training videos, how you're supposed to correct your dog is you give it a little pop on the leash, like a boom. Now it's a lot more effective when you're using the dog collar because it's right high behind their ears on the neck area and you're able to give them a little pop and redirect them. Maybe it's leash training or recall training. But that is the main reason why I like the dog collar over the dog harness. We are gonna talk about the benefits of the dog harness and the cons, but my choice, my preference, I'd rather have a dog collar on them at all times or most of the time, especially if you need to have some tags on your dog or need to have some shot tags or your dog gets lost to have you know some of your address and stuff on there very beneficial now this is the top bullies dog harness and the reason why i like dog harnesses is because you could do a lot more movement with these harnesses you could do a lot more exercises you have more control if you look at this harness by itself this will be where the head is at and this will be where the rear is at and it's common sense you probably know how a dog harness is used but they put this right here so um, it's underneath the body and they have more leverage over the body. So you do have more control of your dog because you're able to clip the leash right here and overall you have more control of the dog. But the cons are is, I don't know if you guys seen any of my previous videos, but dogs that are like the bull breeds, they do like to work, they do like to pull. These dogs can literally throw on a weight pulling harness and pull a lot of weight. So if your dog is not fully trained or you know somewhat in their training phase with leads training and recall, then if you just have this on your dog, you're not gonna get no communication through them and they're just gonna be pulling you and yanking you. And let me tell you, that's not a pretty sight when I see a dog just yanking an owner all down the street. They have no control of their dog whatsoever. And I think if you start off with a harness without any kind of training, that's what you're gonna get. That's the reason why I do not like using the harness right away. But don't get me wrong, the harness is really great, especially when you're doing off leash work. Maybe I can attach a parachute right here, or you know, I could just, if you're doing maybe bite work, you hold the dog back, you have more control of the dog, and then you let them release. Depends on the kind of workouts that you're doing, but the harness could be very beneficial if you have a trained dog. That's just my firm opinion. If you have it wandering around off leash, this is definitely something you want. You can just clip it on and you could you know, hold them back. Maybe you're doing biting training, like I said. But you have more control, but the cons is, is you have less control if it's not trained. So that's kind of a food for thought if you really think about it. My preference is the dog collar. I do attach on the harness a lot too. So I'm not biased here, but I'm just saying what I would use from the get go. Now leave a comment below. What do you prefer? Do you prefer a dog collar or do you prefer a dog harness? Let me know why. I'm very curious. Maybe you can help someone else in the comments too, you know, with trying to make their decision. Both of these products, I'll put a link in the description where you can go and check those out if you want to pick them up. Other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. I am out. Peace.